fault finding. In the unlikely event that your unit does malfunction, this video in conjunction with your instruction manual should help you to identify and rectify most problems on the spot. Find a way to test the pump in isolation without having to run water through the hose. Our advice would be to install a valve directly after the pump or CPV outlet. This is to help identify if problems are coming from your plumbing, like leaking taps, pipes or fittings. Problem 1. If the pump is switched on with the valve open, no water comes through and the pump switches off. Possible cause? Air trapped inside the pump or no water in the system. Solution. Make sure there's water in your tank and that the valve is in open position. Loosen the nut to release trapped air as shown. If water comes out, the air has been released. Tighten the nut again, taking care not to over tighten it. Press reset button on the pump and the pump should start and there should be water flow. Problem 2. Pump starts and stops. Possible cause? A slow leak in the system. Solution. When water is flowing and the pump is running, you can see it on the pressure gauge. As soon as the tap is closed, the pump will run until the pipeline is repressurized to the desired pressure, between 3.8 and 4.2 bar, and then switch off automatically. It'll maintain the pressure as long as there's no water flowing through the system. If there's a leak in the system, the pump will sense it and switch on and off. The smaller the leak, the longer the period between the pump switching on and off. A leak can be on any dripping tap, toilet, shower or even a pipe underground or even in a roof. Leaking joints and cracked pipes are also something to look out for if this is the problem on your pump. It's recommended that a ball valve is installed straight after the CPV on the outlet side of the pump to be able to isolate it in order to determine if there are any leaks in your system. Problem pump doesn't start after a period of non-use, making a humming sound when switched on. Possible cause? Rust inside the pump, causing the impeller to become stuck in one position. Solution. It's recommended that your pump be used at least once a week. Inside the cast iron housing shown is a brass impeller. After a period of non-use, rust builds up inside the housing and prevents the impeller from turning. To loosen the impeller, Simply take a screwdriver and turn the shaft a couple of times. This will break the rust and allow the pump to turn freely. You can also turn the fan to loosen the impeller. Always make sure your pump is turned off before turning the fan. Press the reset button to start your pump. If you need to store the pump for a long period, disconnect pump and dry out completely before storing. For all parts, replacement products and repairs, please consult our website.